and she just heard me going, oh, oh my God. I know. No, no, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! She said, what are you, what are you watching? <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm just finishing through the barricades, and I, I come back down to have my sausage rolls, and I have, have another pint. Yeah. And someone just walks over and goes, are you friends with the groom? I went, what was your number? I'm not somebody who's entered the world of chains, and I won't be. I don't believe any of that uh, hocus pocus bollocks. But that's me, typical Aries. <laughs> <laughs> Right, my clip for round one is a uh, little bit of... I don't think we've done this before. Have we ever done free running or parkour before? I, I don't think we've knowledge. done a clip. I think we've done a clip before. We, well, maybe we have. So this is uh, Hazal Nahia, who is a Red Bull athlete. She's Crazy. From Turkey. And this is from her uh, Instagram. I saw this this week. I can't remember how it landed in my inbox or some algorithm chucked it up at me. I like the Red Bull stuff, so I presume it's come in that direction. I, I've i watched a little bit of parkour stuff, and I've in the past I think I've been quite dismissive towards it. Mm. Just going, oh, fucking jumping. I, I, and I haven't really... <laughs> fucking, jumping in a park. Jumping around in fucking parking and... <laughs> Concrete and fucking jump in. Who can't swing on a lamppost? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who can't go to a multi-story car park and jump off every fucking floor without dying? <laughs> and I, it, it's brilliant. The athleticism is oh, fucking It's amazing. scary, though. I, I think there that's must be bit, some awful injuries. It's a sport this. that I would really hate my kids to take up. Yes, that's exactly what I thought. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Izzy was in the kitchen. But it's bloody I was, impressive, mate. I was watching it in the living room. And... Uh, I got home from Fancy Football because I've just got to watch the clips of Distant Pod. And she went, okay, and she was, she was in the kitchen and she just heard me going, oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> no, no. Oh, fucking Jesus <laughs> Christ. She said, what are you, what are you watching? <laughs> what, what are you doing? I would hate that my Steph's a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> I would, yeah, completely. Well, when, it, when she pulls it off, it's mm. incredible, but there's they include a couple of yeah. mistakes where she clearly hurts herself. Do you know what's mad about it? I've never seen a parkour person in pads or a helmet. Mm. I know it sounds a daft thing. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. You see skateboarders and BMX riders and everything and skiers and, you know. Yeah. But parkour is just like, you know, yeah, a you pair see, of jeans, you see Tony some Hawks, Converse daps and a T-shirt on. Well, you see Tony Hawk's warming up for stuff and he's got mats out for when mm. he makes the mistakes initially, so he learns yeah. it. I presume... Got that from Ray Reardon, that trick. <laughs> All Ray Reardon trick, that is. Yeah? Always go with the crash yeah. mat first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kiss off the pink onto that crash mat over there. Because <laughs> yeah. um, there are indoor parkour places, aren't there? So I presume that they sort of learn like how to play, do it. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> here's, here's one. So your mate, um, your mate Steve, uh, Mike, his, yeah. his, uh, his kid and one of my kids are in school together. And it was my kid's birthday party. And it was in one of these sort of parkour places, but they also had the Nerf guns out as well. Oh, close. So, a lot of fun. So, jumping Nerf off Nerf guns stuff. I'm fine with. <laughs> Nerf guns are cool. My kids take a professional Nerf gunning. <laughs> Nerf gunning is cool. Nerf warfare. <laughs> so, I sat there having a cup of coffee with Steve, and I went, oh, uh, how's your weekend been? And he went, oh, funny thing is, we came here yesterday. And I went, oh, okay. He went, 
because I thought the birthday party was yesterday. <laughs> so we came here, Good lad. and for 25 minutes, his boy was at someone else's birthday party. Oh, Super. yes. And it was only when Steve <clears throat> eventually looks around the room and goes, don't actually know any of these parents. Happy birthday, <laughs> yeah. or whatever your name is. <laughs> and whatever it's went, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> going to the wrong party is quite fun <laughs> trying to style that out for 20 minutes yeah. is another level thank you for the cake and the pizza the pizza was lovely really yeah. nice and it was really I nice said we did that once on the way to, on the way to watch the rugby with uh, Cock and Balls Rob when the Westgate was still open yeah and that's what was always our last pub before we actually went over the bridge into town yeah it was pissing our rain we came down from Cathedral Road so we sprinted as fast as well as fast as Rob could go into the into the <laughs> which isn't very fast. It's a lovely phrase. <laughs> into the into the Westgate, and there was a function on right mm. the back room there. Well, I didn't know it was a function as such. We looked around, they were, but there were there was food. I thought maybe it's like a, a rugby thing, and they've just done some food for the rugby or whatever. You know, mm. it's international day, yeah. and there was karaoke going on. Oh, so we, will, we get a big hell. we get a big plate of food. We go and have a we go and get a pint. I put my name down for the karaoke. <laughs> I've done like I've done like the one review. Then I'm going back to do some town called Malice by the Jam or whatever. <laughs> Through the barricades by you know by uh, Spando Ballet. <laughs> Smashing that some Spando. <laughs> so I'm just finishing through the barricades and I, I come back down to have my sausage rolls or whatever. And I have another pint. Yeah. And somebody just walks over and goes, "Are you friends with the groom?" I went, "What was your way over?" Oh my god! <laughs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> Because none of the bride's party sort of recognised me, obviously. It was, yeah. it, was a, it was like a wedding party. Oh, and I'd, amazing. And I'd been, I'd been, we'd been feasting on their buffet and, and, and hijacking their the karaoke, karaoke. For, about, for about 25 minutes. That's incredible. My, and fair um, play. So he, he said, well, finish your pint and your food, but then you, we'll have to ask you to leave. Said, yeah, two more problem, songs before you leave. <laughs> 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 but then you're going to have to go. Yeah. Right? Let me just do Love on the Rocks and then I'm out of here. <laughs> my uh, my grandmother's wake, two women from Carmarthen just sat down and helped themselves to the sandwiches <laughs> at the Ivy Bush in town. Yeah, my auntie had to have a word with them and say, These aren't public sandwiches. <laughs> she got to a fake cry, shouldn't she? <laughs> I knew her, I knew her. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she'd have wanted. Pass me the Volivans, I knew her. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That was good, that, and Wesker enjoyed that. It's nice. That's afternoon. I was singing there, but you see people looking around thinking, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Who's he? That's hilarious. He's quite recognisable. I think we'd remember him. <laughs> what were you dressed in then, if it was a wedding? Well, it was International Day, so I'd, I'd probably something like a pair of jeans, a roll neck and a leather jacket, I'd imagine. Bobble hat, rosette. You know, yeah. The roll neck rosette, is, is back in. Is it? I know. Eric Ten Hag like wears a roll neck a week. Yeah, I don't like him. I love a roll neck. Do you? But I can't, well, should I say, I loved a roll neck. Yeah. Now i got more than one chin. A roll neck is a bad look. Is it? Yeah. It just sort of pushes your second chin forward a bit, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought that. The last thing I need on my neck is something tight at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I should get into roll necks. You look good in a roll neck, I think. Have you I got think a, you got a, if, you, if you've got a bit of a paunch, that's your problem. Yeah, that's an issue. Can you wear baggy bit. roll necks? Well, no, but always wear a roll neck, combine it with a nice with a nice jacket. Yeah, jacket. yeah, yeah. The Eric Ten Hag look, the oh, paunch. Mm. I've been, I've got a sort of uh, miniature heroes and celebrations paunch. Nice. Yeah, that's good at the moment. Which is depressing. What's the point of a roll? I don't really get the point of them. They were, it was a seventies thing, wasn't it? Really it became yeah. instead of I don't know really. Mm. What was the point? I suppose if you. You wouldn't have worn a collarless, like you wouldn't have before pre like Sonny Crockett. Yeah. You wouldn't have worn a t-shirt with the jacket. No. I mean, You'd have worn a shirt because of, of the collar. Yeah. So I think the roll neck was like a way of having a high collar without having a yeah. shirt on. I, wear a fucking shirt, isn't it? I do like a sort of roll neck with a nice with a nice chain. It's nice, but not like Del Boy style. <laughs> not Del Boy style. Mr. T style. <laughs> 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 B.A. Baraka B. style. style. No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a nice, define a nice chain for me? Because I'm not, well, I'm like not somebody nice, entered the world of chains and I won't be. Like, well, you just, can, you just make sure it matches. No. So if you have like a camel coloured um, Exactly roll, like, like that. A camel hair chain. But then you have like an opal 
like a nice opal on a chain. What's an opal? Like a well, you know, all different coloured opals. But if I, no. if I was going to wear it with with a camel, I would have like a like a tan opal stone. You know, okay. you know. Okay. if you're wearing black, then yeah. you can't go wrong with the classics, like you know, like uh, turquoise or something. Right? right. If I turned up to anything, right, with a black roll neck and a mm. necklace with purple yeah, thing blue. in it, mm. you would well, think I had actually. a breakdown. Oh, it would look so mad. Da, da, yeah. da, 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 da. Yeah, I was insane. so mad. Yes. Yeah. It would I got a nice look, photograph of me. You would I look was... better in, like, Bermuda shorts yes. and a vest. Yes, I, I, that, that is more my thing. <laughs> There's a photograph of me when I did The Unexplained with John, hmm. and I'm wearing a black velvet jacket I know the look, with I a know black roll neck yes. and, a, and a turquoise... Uh, Chain over the top. Yes, very strong look. Yeah, I yeah, I would look like I was trying to be a mystic. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, Mystic Meg has just died. Oh, sorry. Just had a <laughs> notification on my just, saying just, it. just had a notification on my phone. Have you? Yeah. Wow. What, I, don't I, I don't know what I like set up for that. <laughs> yeah. Mystic yeah, Meg. Didn't, didn't see that coming, did you? Hey, no, I was, I was doing... Come on. Come on. <laughs> <Hey>? <laughs> Five seconds. Boom. That's good. This, what yeah. she used to be on the, the lottery, lottery, right? Their fucking chances. But I mean, them and weather what? people. Going Jesus number seven Christ. might come out more. I don't remember. I don't yeah. really remember it as a thing. Number yes, seven remember might that? come out more. Yeah. I don't, I don't. What else is she doing? Yeah, that's what she used to do. Yeah, basically that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't get it. It's like, I think it's, like it's a really we... good week for 28. Yes, yeah. Or is it? I'm seeing a number below 49, but above one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, dickheads. <laughs> I mean, how they've got away with that for thousands of years. It's amazing. I do not know. I love it. That's a proper career for people. Did you have an auntie? I'm feeling an auntie. There was an auntie. Was there, did she passed, passed away? She's still alive. She's still alive. Did I tell you the great... Alive. I told you my, my Neil Fitzmaurice story, did I? No. Oh, you know Neil Fitzmaurice, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great comic. And I was on about... Do you remember the psychic in Phoenix Nights? Yes. It was terrible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So getting yeah. the word nonce, that one. Remember, yes, gets beaten, yes. Keeps getting beaten up all the time, right? Yes. He based that on... A, he was doing a, a, an expat gig over in Dubai or somewhere in the Emirates, right? Yeah. He said, the bloke on before me was a psychic. Yeah. He said, but he was really camp. Um, but he came out and oh, dare you picture the mind. And all this sort of like smoke... <laughs> Smoke and stuff, and 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 lights. He steps out on the stage. Hiya! Starts doing this. Um, Hiya! This routine, right? Yeah. And Neil said, "I was I was making notes as he's on there because it was so Brilliant. funny. I thought this this is going to go in a script at some point." Right? Yeah. And he said he gets a woman from the audience. He goes, "Um, hello, my love. Have you got a blue car?" She goes, uh, "No, no, no. Maybe no, no. Not you've got a blue car, but your husband or your boyfriend's got a blue car. I'm right in saying that, no." No, maybe maybe it's, maybe it's not you. Maybe it's not someone. But you. Um, oh, it's, hang on, it's coming through. You've you don't know, you've, you you've been the blue car, right? And saying that. Uh, not recently. No. Oh, <gasps> don't get in the blue car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> and he thought you'll do. <laughs> Oh, funny as. Don't get in a blue car. <laughs> oh. I once That's I did uh, I was taken over from someone at work when I was about 22 or 23. And uh, the woman I was taken over from, as I, I'd never met her before, and I turned up and she said, oh, Can I guess your star sign? And I said, uh, Yeah, if you'd like. And she went, Just. just just the way you speak and the way you carry yourself. There's something about you. You're an Aries, isn't you? And I said, uh, no. And she went, you're a Taurus, aren't you? And I went, uh, no. And she said, there's just something about you. You're a Gemini, aren't you? And I said, uh, no. And she went, a Scorpio? And I went, yeah. And she went, I knew it. <laughs> there's only, only Freddy 12 of them. You can't do you can't the fourth attempt. <laughs> Absolute chances. Mm. There's just something about you that implies I don't believe any of that, uh, quite a few different star signs. I don't believe any of that uh, hocus pocus bollocks. 
But that's me, typical Aries. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Absolute gold. <laughs> <laughs>